We're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can export your projects with all files included because usually CapCut saves that in the cloud or internally so it's not on your CPU. Let's just start a project and I'll put something in there, maybe video and an image just so that we have something. And here's the CapCut folder that you need. Wherever you've got it installed, you need to go to user data then inside of the CapCut folder and find the projects. And there you find this draft and here's the number. You can see that up here in a specific project and it's also labeled like this in the start window of CapCut. It currently has 11.7 kilobytes. So it hasn't stored the imported files, the footage and the image. But before we fix that, if you can't find this folder at all, so where you've got your CapCut installed, you can go to menu settings and under project, you find it under save to. So that here's a specific location on your CPU, wherever you've got it installed. You can also get to your desktop and find the icon of CapCut, right click on it, use the properties. And here you can open the path. You find it here on the target, open it. And yet again, here it is CapCut, user data, projects. And then you've got this first option, the live editor dot draft. Second one is for templates. We need the first one. And here it is, the number of this project. But as I've said, it only stores the project itself, not the imported files. This is why we have 11.7 kilobytes only. To fix that, we need to go to modify, find the details and here import material. You have to check this box for copy to project instead of keep in original place. Keep in original place should be active by default. So make sure to change that, click on save. And now if we check our folder again, you can see it's not 11.7 kilobytes anymore. It should be way higher. There you go, 9.65 megabytes. So our files are now imported. And if you want to use this project on a different CPU or something, just copy this specific file, put it on a USB stick and then import it into someone else's CapCut or into CapCut on a different PC. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.